Hello, my name is Super Potato, and today I am going to be showing you a Minecraft troll. Uh, a little simple way to troll your friends in Minecraft. So, so you can see the stuff I got in my inventory. This is not the stuff I meant to have, but you know. But um, it's sort of a complex troll. It ain't the easiest thing to do. Sorry for the noise. There. Okay. So, as you can see, I got a hill right here. Well, that's it. That's the troll. Okay. See you guys later. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's see, there's a hole. And as you can barely see, there's some cobweb. The troll is... Is there... Well, hang on. Had to move around a little bit. There. So, what you want to do is, first of all, if you're in survival, want to do this complete survival, never going to creative and all that. If you want, if you want to completely do this in survival, <clears throat> good luck. But if you do do it in survival, make sure you have feather falling boots, because, well. The best way to do in survival is to dig straight down. Because if you dig by doing stairs, it's going to take a long time. But everybody in Minecraft knows if you dig straight down, it's going to mess you up. How's the sun going down? I put daylight on all day. Whatever. Okay. Well, that's just something else I got to do. But um, if you're in survival, the quickest way to do it is dig down, but everybody knows in survival if you dig straight down, it's pretty bad because sometimes you'll just find a really big gap and you'll fall straight down to your death, which I kind of doubt you will, but but most common reason is because if you dig straight down, you will land in lava and you will die. So if you do this in survival and plan on digging straight down and make time go time pass. I recommend having a potion of fire resistance because if you fall in a lava, you're going to be in trouble. So, what you want to do is dig all the way down. Just start from any place. I recommend just doing it in a plains biome or something. Now, this is for your friend, but. Well, this is like to troll your friend or something, but I would put it near their house. This is not really. Effective unless you set up maybe multiple ones too, so you might have to do more than one in order to be effective. And that's the void, don't do that. So grab your obsidian. If you already want to survive, you're going to get a lot of obsidian of obsidian. So place an obsidian at the very bottom. Like that. And then and then there's gonna be four different sides. Destroy them four different sides. Place obsidian. And then on every side, you're just going to dig every single side out and replace it with the city. And do this to every side. I'm only going to do one side just to show you, but you're going to dig this side out, this side out, this side out, this side out. Actually, I ain't going to even do it. Just the, the four sides around a uh, hole, you're just going to replace with the city. And so when you get to the very top, these four right here should be should have a city on them. So, once you have done that, once this, once this, uh, once the walls of this hole are obsidian, what you're going to want to do is have a lot of cobweb. Uh, you're going to have to have silk touch, uh, in order to get cobwebs in survival. But once you get cobwebs, go down to the very bottom. I'd recommend putting on flying ability in survival because if you don't, you're going to be in, you're going to be screwed up yourself. So, you're going to want to place cobwebs and take it all the way to the very top. <clears throat> You'll see in a minute why this is a very crazy troll. And I've tested it out in survival, so I know what it's like. Take it all the way up. Alright. Don't have that one. Actually, go to break one. Like, Don't bring it to the very top. Just just leave a couple like that but so that's how you made the trap that's just a simple little version 
The way you're going to want to hide it is grab your grass block and make a hilly terrain around it. <clears throat> like, and make it abnormal. Like, don't, don't make it look like it was human made. Don't look like it's a really easy pattern to distinguish. Just make it random. Randomize it a little bit. So, actually, take that one off. And then grab some bone meal and just bone meal to place, like, grow some grass and flowers around it to just camouflage it. Don't do it too much because then it looks suspicious, but just hide it a little bit. And if a guy comes along and doesn't, if he's really ignorant and he steps into it, He's going to have a very bad time. Now, here's the part I want to get to. Um, if that guy has a sword of any kind, an iron sword, a diamond sword, stone sword, even a wood sword, he's going to be able to cut the time because you see how slow this is going to take and you'll go down to the very bottom and this will take it forever if he doesn't have a sword. But if he does have a sword, once I figure out what's what's wrong with me, I don't know. I can't break the block. What the? Oh, because I'm in creative. Okay, that makes sense. But in survival, if he does have a sword. Of any kind, he will be able to break the cobweb a little bit easier. It still takes a little bit of time, but I have I have tried it out, and the only way to break obsidian fairly quickly is a diamond pickaxe, and it still ain't that fast. Even if you have efficiency, like efficiency five, it's still gonna take him a little while to break obsidian. So. There ain't no way to escape this by breaking blocks and try to just walk out. There, there ain't no way you can do that. So, but you can speed it up if he does have an iron sword and he will be able to break the cobweb until it gets down to the very bottom. But what I recommend instead of just putting a bottom on this thing, is putting lava on the very bottom. So, where's that hole I just made? Okay, here it is. So, go down to the very bottom. One second. Oh yeah, if you're in Minecraft Pocket Edition, Windows 10, I don't know for PC, but for Pocket Edition, there is a void. As you can see, and if you fall into the void in survival, you're screwed. So you can do that, and just let him slowly fall, and just, once he's down here, he's down here forever. Unless he goes into creative and cheats. But... Best way I think to do it is putting lava down here. So once you cap it off at the bottom, hang on, get rid of this hole. And like I said, all these walls will be obsidian. Just don't worry about what I'm doing here. I'll show you an example in a minute. But what you want to do is you grab a bucket of lava and just place the lava at the very bottom. I know grass isn't the best thing to use, but, you know. And then once it gets down here, it'll, it'll fall into the lava and die. What the? I'm having issues here. There. So, yeah. I think that's it. Let me show you my example. This was the original one I done. Well, see how all the walls are obsidian? That's how it should be. And then, instead of just going down here and having a lot of this, hang on. Let me grab my obsidian. Where is my obsidian? I don't know. It's 10 that's obsidian. So... 
when you have lava down here and you slowly fall down here, when he lands in, his, in the lava, he's screwed because when he dies, all this stuff is going to burn up and nothing will be left for him to get. So, yeah. And like I said, camouflage it. You might have to build multiple ones. So, that's what I recommend. So, yeah, that's just a little simple troll. It ain't really simple, but it takes a little bit to build. I recommend building more than one. Because if he doesn't fall on one, he might fall on the other. So, yeah. So, I hope you like this troll. Click that like button if you want. If you want more, tell me in the comment section if you want me to find more trolls. Because I can. So please like, subscribe, and comment, and thanks for watching.